bedrooms around the world right now. Oh, now you can hear me. Oh, okay. Holy cow. Should I do that again? Should I just take it from the top, maybe? Okay. Crying as a So, oh, it's louder, I like it. Volume is good, because you need volume when you're playing rock and roll. So Aerosmith are performing on Saturday night down at Meadows, Gardens by the Bay, Marina Bay Sands. That's the 25th of May, 24 short days away. Hey, you know what? And I'm talking, thank you. I am talking to everybody watching at home. And, what, and all of you guys right now, how would you like if we just introduced you right now to the stage, somebody from Aerosmith, somebody really special? That, that would be pretty gnarly. That would be pretty gnarly. And at the YouTube Fan Fest, powered by HP, you'd have to give them a really massive thank you for doing just that. So please, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the stage, the lead guitarist from Aerosmith, Mr. Joe Perry! Oh, let me, dude, let me just gather my thoughts for a solitary second here. Yeah, now your cameras are out. Everyone around the world is clicking on their little webcams going, oh my God, Joe Perry. Okay, Joe, welcome to Singapore, bro. Thank you. It's, thank you, thank you. How about these fans? It's great, I can't believe it. It's great. It's awesome. Now, it's obviously, just... you're out here. You're gonna be performing an awesome gig on Saturday night down at Marina Bay Sands. Uh, and everybody here, I'm pretty sure, has got tickets, and they're gonna be going down there, bringing their best friends, their moms and dads, and dogs and pets, and God knows what else. Is this your first time here in Singapore? This is our first time, and we've been waiting to come for years and years and years. I can't tell you how long I've been wanting to play here. Well, it's an absolute pleasure and an honor to have you here with us this evening. Thanks so very much for being down. But, uh, you know, as a true rock and roll fan, I wanna start asking some, maybe a little bit of rock and roll slide questions, and that is, dude, <laughs> I've been asking the YouTube fan, uh, the stars this. When you guys started out, I mean, you were one of the original members out of Boston. Yeah. Did yeah. you ever think back then that it would ever escalate to the dizzy heights that you've achieved now? Never, never, never. I was, uh, I thought success was when you could uh, have music pay for your dinner, and that was it. I was happy then. I never thought it would be turned into a career, so it's great. I don't have to have a real job, you know? It's one of the coolest jobs on the planet, I can tell you that right now. But, uh, you know, and uh, you've been through, you've, you've been, I mean, you're like the rock band of not just this decade or the previous decade or the decades before that. I mean, you've outstanded, or outlasted pretty much every other rock band that's out there. And you yourself have seen the times change. And obviously being here with, uh, for YouTube Fan Fest today, the whole social media platform. Now, a new generation of fans are able to see you and know your music and Aerosmith's music. That's gotta be a trip right there. It's really exciting to play some new places. We played South America last year and played some pretty big shows where we'd never been and to see kids singing along uh, to albums we wrote 30 years ago, it's mind boggling. I mean, it's great. And, and what you guys are doing right now, it's doing so much for music. I'm just really happy to hear it. Well, you know, we're happy uh, to hear your music any day of the week, and I tell you that. And the guitar riffs and the licks that you come up with for each of those tunes that have remained just iconic. Every bedroom guitar, certainly guys that I was with in my school days, are learning your tunes, you know? How do you come up with these riffs? Well, you make it seem so easy. Well, um, you just sit down and you just uh, play and turn on the tape recorder and, it's, and you just let it come down from there. It comes through here and goes out there. And I just learned from all those guys that did it before me, you know? I mean, uh, putting the, the needle, you know, that's, uh, in the old days they had this thing called a turntable and it had uh, a needle on it and the record goes around and you put the needle on it and that's how you got your music. So you put it on over and over again and that's, that was your music lesson. You that's, know? Your, that's, that, that's where you draw, drew your 
inspiration from. Yeah. I love that. I love yeah. that. All right, so you budding musicians out there, that's what you got to do. It's as simple yeah. as that. How many musicians we got in the house here with us this evening, right here? And all around the world watching, all right? Joe Perry can do it. And damn it, so can you. All right, so listen. It's a shame, you know, where's, did, did Joseph, Vincent, did he leave? Because I'm thinking maybe we could get like his guitar or something. Do we, does anyone here have a guitar handy? It'd be cool to hear him play, wouldn't it? Oh, snap. That wasn't rehearsed at all, let me tell you. So you guys, one of the greatest guitarists in the world, Joe Perry. There you go. That's it. It's as simple as that. <laughs> All right, man. Listen. Give us some of that. Give us some of that stuff that that you know that right. you that you wrote all those years ago that still breathes true and is alive again today. Well, this is one song that I have to say, and uh, it's carried us through for years and years. And I remember writing it on stage um, at a sound check in Hawaii uh, in about 1976. And then um, it came back again with uh, Run DMC. And um, we've got to, when we play this week, we're going to uh, do something special with it as well. But uh, it, it's basically, I just. Uh <laughs> And I, and I said, thank you, God. Where did that come from? But, you know, I have no idea where that stuff comes from. It just plays, you You know? just feel it, and it comes out yep. on the strings, and then there you go. You have a, you have a hit tune. Yep. Do you have, is that now, is that, I mean, obviously a very, very special tune in your heart. Is that your particular favorite, or is there another that is your favorite? Well, there's a, there's a few of them, but that one, I think, uh, when, I, when I look back, um, that's probably one of the ones, because it has carried us through all the generations. You were talking about all the changes before, and, uh, you know, I mean, when we first heard punk and then disco and all that, and we're going, you know, we could see our, the, the fans getting older, and but the whole new batch coming up, you know, listening to different stuff. It was, uh, um, we, we learned to, to kind of like stick to our guns and, and keep playing all through it. And, uh, and so we just kept playing rock, man. Was that difficult for you? I mean, to, to have seen the times change, you know, with technology, and as you say, you know, your, your, your first generation of fans, they're getting older. Was that difficult for you? Or did you just kind of sit down together and think, you know what, we've got to roll with the times? Well, we, we, we started, uh, when the band got back together in the, in the early 80s, we started doing uh, writing with other people, and it really helped bring us into, into the MTV land, you know, when, when MTV was really big. And now we've got uh, the same thing happening with, uh, with uh, YouTube and uh, getting the music out that way and putting as much stuff on there with tweeting and all that, you know. We, so, stay, we stay with it. For sure, absolutely. And you've done it, you've, you've succeeded. Now, I'm gonna ask, man, can you give us just another few licks or anything like that, a solo or something like that? Make some noise for Joe Perry, man. lasted a while too. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We good? Yeah. All right man. Well listen, I don't wanna I don't want to tell you before your gig, I want you to save all that energy for what I know is going to be an astronomical stellar gig. And like I said, that's happening this Saturday at Meadows Gardens by the Bay, Marina Bay Sands. But uh, before you go one last message to so all of your fans here in Singapore in this room and indeed watching all over the world on YouTube right now. Just one message for them, if you will. Well, just keep rocking. That's all I can say. I mean, all that, 
just, just keep it up, man. It's all about the fire. Rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen, from around the world, and here in Singapore, Mr. Joe Perry! <laughs> Thanks, thanks very much. We'll have fun. Joe Perry, folks!